Hey guys, welcome back to the Pass Money Plan. Today we're going to be reacting to this video by Pace Morby speaking about real estate. Check out this video. You are a real estate agent. You are not in real estate. If you are a mobile notary, you are not in real estate. If you are a title or escrow company, you are not in real estate. You are a service provider to someone who is. There's agents that are gonna hear me say that and they're gonna say, yes, I am. I have a real estate license. Okay, well, they didn't teach you how to invest in real estate in real estate school, did they? And nor does your broker. So you are a service provider to somebody else. And if Bethany Willis had not told me that and said that to me in such a strong way, I would have not listened to her and broken down and actually humbled myself enough to open up my mind and say, show me. All right, Kirby. I know I knew you would like this video because it attacks these people mentioned. So we'll uh I'll let I'll let you go ahead and start this one off. But um I like I like this message that he puts across. Well, yeah, and I'm gonna take a different tack with that. Ah, uh, sorry, I was wiping something off the screen. But I'm gonna take a different tack that I mean, I like everything he said, but instead of me harping on the points that he made, and I'll come back and harp on them in a second. This is why I always tell everybody that will listen. When you're going out to invest, invest in rental properties, do not take the word of a real estate agent. They don't know the real estate game as far as investing wise. They know square footage. They know uh, what schools are nearby. They know all that stuff. But they don't know what it is to be a real estate investor. I mean, we've talked at nauseam about times where real estate investors told me I didn't know what I was talking about. This property is worth X amount because of the square footage and price per square foot. And I said, this is a multifamily, so it's only based on the rent received. I'm only buying cash flow. I'm not buying the square footage like my family is going to live in it. But then we know we get an appraisal and the appraisal is closer to my number than their number ever was and i mean alex we had multiple conversations you know me and you talking to real estate agents and we call each other and laugh at them all the time talking about this is what they said they don't know what the hell they're doing it's just like a lot of these people you see on social media that's talk about stocks all the time the barrier to entry to invest in the stock market is low one thing you need to do is Fill out a couple of lines on an online platform and you can buy, sell, and trade stocks. The barrier to entry to become a real estate agent is very low. You pass a couple, you know, you pass a test. You know, I, I don't even know the number of questions on the test. But everybody in my a real estate agent. Everybody know a real estate agent that ain't selling or buying nothing, but they got the real estate license. So the barrier to entry is very low. When the barrier to entry is low, that means it's a lot of non-knowledgeable people flooding the market. Now, you can gamble and hope that the real estate agent you're using is working and they know what they're talking about. But it's best you, if, if you're an investor, you damn sure better be knowing what's going on and not depending on a real estate agent to tell you how to operate a investment property. But Alex, I'll let you go and then I'll come back to what Pace said. Yeah, this is um this is an interesting one because as a new investor, speaking from experience, if you don't know the game, and I mean in my case, I have the benefit of being able to learn from you and absorb this content to know what I should what questions I should be asking, know how to run my numbers, know what I need to be looking at when investing in real estate. But if for someone that wants to get started, if they don't have that knowledge, real estate agents, not all of them, uh, but a lot of them um, will kind of push you in a way where they will try to be the one that dictates whether or not, you know, it's a good buy or whatever. And you have to know what you're actually getting involved with. Um, because they're just trying to sell. So, you know, I've had real estate agents make all these kinds of excuses as to why their prop property is great. And the reality is they're not looking at the same details an investor is looking at. They're going to point out, like you said, 
you know, all the features about the home, they're going to tell you just because this doesn't mean it's a bad property. But really, all you're looking for is cash flow. So if the numbers make sense, then that's great. But if they don't make sense, it doesn't matter how nice the property is. It doesn't matter how nice the area is. It's going to require you to do a lot more work to get it to make sense for you and your numbers. And for new investors, you don't want to be uh, beating around the bush or you don't want a real estate agent to be the one to kind of drag you through into a bad deal because you didn't know any better. Uh, so it is important to go in with knowledge before you buy. And if, just to give an example, if you want to know what a bunch of bad real estate agents is, the only thing you got to do is pull up the MLS on multifamilies in the state of Florida. Now, one multifamily right now in the state of Florida is cash flow positive. But if you look at the description on every listing, it'll tell you how it's a great investment. It's a great investment for the seller if they find somebody stupid enough to buy it. But it's not a great it's not a great investment for anybody that's buying it because one, these tenants are paying way below market rent. Two, the interest rate is so high that it'll be hard to cash flow. Three, we got the insurance crisis in Florida, and then we got property taxes in Florida that's going up astronomically. But only thing I do is pull up Zillow, pull up the state of Florida, filter to multifamily properties, and every last one of them, you will not find a cash flow positive property. But in the description, every real estate agent will say it's a good property to buy. They have their reasons why it's a good property to buy, but if you run the numbers, don't none of them, every single property you as the investor will have to dig in your pocket every month to make sure the mortgage payment is done, make sure that the maintenance is done because the, the tenants, the rents that they're paying currently will not cover your vacancy rate, will not cover your insurance payment, will not cover your taxes and mortgage and put money in your pocket. If you don't believe me, just look it up and that will tell you the quality of how real estate agents are. But to Pace's point, getting back to the video, he's 100% right. Everybody that's being service providers to real estate investors or people that's being service providers for homeowners, they're not in the real estate game. They are making money off of people that's in the real estate game, but they're not getting the advantages, the tax loopholes and what have you from the real estate game like a real estate investor is. And it's a big difference from between fixing the AC and owning the property. Fixing the AC is active income. Owning the rental property is passive income. You're taxed at a whole different level. You can't depreciate little to nothing of active income compared to passive income, especially if it's in real estate. So it's a whole different ballgame. The whole, the money structure, everything is different. So there is very, a lot of nuances is different from the people that work for homeowners and uh, real estate investors than the investor himself. And people get it confused all the time when they say they're in real estate. No, you're not. You're just, like Pay said, you're just servicing the real estate industry. Absolutely. With all that being said, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. If you guys got any questions, let us know. The guy's name is Pace Morby. Uh, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.